Today I have to make a couple of flower arrangements and this is a really cute little country looking flower arrangement made in mason jars. There's a lot you can do with mason jars. Um, I've been asked a couple of times and I'm kind of thinking about maybe starting a series on sort of a depression living kind of thing. Basically ways to kind of live cheaply. Um, we may do some cooking videos on, you know, foods that you can cook very inexpensively that will go a long way, will feed a lot of people, or will last a long time. Things like that, and just neat little tricks around the house and ways you can kind of live more inexpensively. But um, there's a lot you can do with mason jars. That's really cute, and I have to do these, so I decided I was going to go ahead and just record it and show you how, how I'm going to do them. But um, you can do a lot of things. You can do flower arrangements, you can make candle holders, you can make oil burning lamps, you can make oil lamps out of mason jars, and I may show you how to do that in another video. But for these, this is all stuff that I got on sale at Michael's, you can get it at Hobby Lobby, any little craft store, and if you watch, you can usually get stuff pretty cheap on sale, because they're always doing 50% off or 75% off or whatever, especially if you buy seasonal colors. Um, <clears throat> now these I'm using red and white which red is typically a seasonal fall color, so you can buy a lot of really pretty red flowers, you know, at the end of the fall seasons. And of course, whites are usually your winter colors. Alright, so basically what I've got here, mason jars, and these don't have the, uh, the emblem on them, some of them do, I prefer the ones that don't. And if you're kind of nifty with the way you do these, you don't have to permanently ruin the drawer. You can reuse them later for other projects, but if you want, you can hot glue stuff. Um, but these I'm not going to hot glue. I'm just going to basically start with a roll of twine. And I have two pieces cut, one slightly longer than the other. Not by much, by about an inch. And I guess it's probably about finger width to shoulder for me, so I'm assuming that's maybe two and a half, three feet. Alright, and I'm going to take my mason jar. And I'm going to wrap it three times around the top. And then I'm just going to tie it in a regular knot. And since I'm not using any glue, I'm going to do it twice, double knot. Okay. So this is what I've got. Alright, so I have my little jar made, and then I have these long stem daisies, and then some little blossoms. Alright, now, I want to cut two daisies, one slightly shorter than the other, so that when they sit in the jar, they'll sit kind of like this. And this one I already cut, so this one I'm going to cut just a little bit shorter. Of course, I'm using wire cutters to make it nice and easy. It's about right there. to kind of really save money on making these homemade flower arrangements is, oh hush up, I got kittens in case that's what you hear. Miss Kitty had kittens. Okay, so a good way to like really save money on these is to buy bunches of flowers and then just cut off the pieces that you need for your arrangements. Go ahead cut a piece off of that just to add a little splash of color and throw it. 
right in the back there. See, for your cute little mason jar flower arrangement, cute little table centerpieces. This would be so cute on a picnic table. You can really dress something up like that. All right, and we're gonna, I'm going to make a couple of these because I'm going to need a couple. But another way that I did this was, and I really, I need to clear is basically the same thing only I went ahead and wrapped my twine around the top and around the jaw about halfway now you can leave your little hanging piece but I probably won't I'm gonna go ahead and clip them short so that all I have is will look like this it's just a little twine part and then I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little candle in there. Move that out the way so you can see. See, isn't that cute? Now a bunch of these set out with a bunch of the um, little flower arrangements. It's gonna make for a very cute little country themed but still pretty and elegant setting. So there you go. That's our little mason jar project for the day: candle holders and flower arrangements really cute you can reuse the jars if you don't put you know glue or anything on them and you can really just dress things up for extremely cheap this entire flower arrangement in total probably cost about maybe two dollars and fifty cents and most of that was the daisies so. Alright, as you notice, most mason jars are made with a little bit of a, a bow in the bottom. So, this can cause your candles to kind of slide to the side. Now, if you're going to hold them still, you know, if you're just putting them in one location, you can position your candle in the middle and it will stay there. Especially once you light it and the wax starts to drip. But because I'm bringing these out to a cute little country event, I don't want to have to fight with repositioning all of these candles that I'm making. So, um, to keep them from going to the side, because if they light leaning to the side, it probably won't, but there is a slight possibility that the heat rising could crack the jar, so you want it in the center. Plus, it just looks nicer. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use some salad tongs to grab a hold of my candle, and then I'm just going to hold it over the heat of the stove for just a couple of seconds to get the bottom of the, the candle melted. And then I'm going to set it down right in the middle and just hold it for a couple of seconds. There you go. And then the wax at the bottom will melt and it'll stick to where you position it in the candle and it won't move. So no matter where I go or how they get transported, everything's going to stay in perfect position. And then I'll just light it with the, um, a candle gun. So there you go. Mason jar candles. So cute. And of course you could dress these up more if you want it. Any way you want it. You could stick a little flower to the side, a little rose, a little daisy. Anything would be cute. But I kind of like them just plain and simple.